Hey guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. And today's game up on the tabletop is Snarkus by Hootenanny Games. This plays two to four players, takes roughly about 10 to 30 minutes to play the game, and is for ages eight and up. And in the game Snarkus, you're playing kind of this gin rummy card game of sorts, where you're gonna get a number of cards in your hand that have a variety of numbers on them, uh, one through, I believe, 10, and your objective is to take as many cards from the field here and put them into your tableau area or your field. You will also be attempting to complete some mini objectives, like having the most cards at the end of the round, having certain uh, sets of cards, being able to score a Snarkus by collecting all the cards on the field, and if you can't collect anything, playing cards from your hand onto the field. This is a back and forth kind of push and pull, tug of war sort of card game where you're trying to score not only the correct cards, but also the most cards and fulfilling objectives while trying to score all of them at the same time. When you run out of cards, you'll draw a new hand and you'll keep going up to the point where the deck is empty. When all the cards in your hands have been played, then the game is gonna be over and you will score. Play another round if you'd like and set a normal Gin Rummy type scoring system of 50 or 100 or 150 points and whoever is the winner, basically whoever gets there first, is the winner of the game, Snarkus. Let's show you how to set the game up. The first thing you do with Snarkus is determine the number of players playing the game. In a two player game, you'll give everybody six cards. In a three player game, you'll give them four. And in a four player game, you will play on teams and you will give everybody six cards. Once you have given everybody their six cards, and we'll Im demonstrate with a two-player game, you're also going to make sure that you deal out four cards face up from the deck onto the field here. Set aside the Snarkus cards within reach of all players, as well as the three objective cards, the most cards, and then the two additional cards, the Astra and the Jolt tokens here. And then once you've got your six cards in hand and four on the field with a deck that's already shuffled, you're ready to be in the game. It's that simple. Once you determine a starting player based on whatever starting criteria you would like, you're going to have them begin their turn. On their turn, they can do one of two things. They can either play a card from their hand and hopefully take cards from the field and put them into their tableau, or they can pass. And to pass, you have to play a card from your hand onto the field. When you play a card, like let's say that I wanted these cards in the field, as many as I could possibly get, you'll take a card and play it down in front of you. Then you'll take every card on the field that is the same number as that card. And in addition to that, you will take every combination of cards uh, that make up to that number. So in this case, I played a 10. I can take any 10 on the field, and then I can take any combination. And in this case, there is an eight and there is a two, and I can take these cards. When you take the cards, you'll place them in front of you, including the card that you just played, and you're going to be done. You do not fill this board back up. Uh, you only are going to be taking cards as uh, they're either placed on the, for the board from a player's hand, or if they're previously there. After you do that, you're done, you'll pass, and the next player is going to get to go. They'll take their hand of cards, and they're gonna look, and they have a seven out of two there, so if they have a nine in hand, they can play it. And if they did, they would be able to take a Snarkus, because their board would be filled. In this case here though, I don't have any way to do that, but I can play a seven. And there is a seven on the field, so I can take that seven. Then they're going to pass. And the next player is going to once again go. And as you see, the cards are gonna be emptying from your hand. You just play a card either on the field or into your tableau and take cards. And the only way you can play them onto your tableau is if you take cards. Otherwise you have to put them on the field here. I don't have a two here or any way it makes up to two. So I have to, have to actually play a card onto the field. So I'll go ahead and play this four here. And then it'll be my opponent's turn and they will go ahead and look at their hand. They don't have a four or a two or the combination of both, which is a six. So they can go ahead and play this 10 here. And they'll just keep rinsing and repeating, going back and forth. In this case, I played the four because I have a four. So I can actually go ahead and take the four that I previously played because my opponent didn't. And Basically what's going to happen is eventually the cards on the uh, field are going to be going to a player uh, or they're going to be end up they're going to end up on the field at the end of the round and everybody's going to have no cards left in hand and it might look something like this. When this happens, there's no cards left in either player's hand, you're then going to go ahead and draw. The last player who played is the player who's going to go second in this next phase. You're going to give the all the players six cards and then you're once again going to start again, starting with the player who didn't play last. And you will continue up until the point where this deck is empty. When the deck is empty, what you're going to do is you're going to score. And let's just go ahead and drop a bunch of cards on the field to give you an idea of what this looks like. It looks something like this at the end of the game. One opponent has these, and one opponent has all these. You'll check each one. 
This here is an Aster. If you have all four of these cards, you will take this as four victory points. This one here is a Jolt. If you have all four of the Jolt cards here, you will take this as four victory points. The last bonus one here is the most cards. If you have the most overall total cards, you will take this for three points. The only other unique objective for scoring is the Snarkus before we tally up all of our points. And like I said, the way you get these is when you clear the entire field of cards, which can happen if there's just one card on the field in the middle of the game table, not from your field, but from the main area, or if there's two or four cards. So you play an eight and there's a uh, Two, there's four fours in the field. You can take the four and the four, the four and the four, and the eight, and you'll get a Snarkus. And you can get as many as you possibly can in the round. Then you're going to add up not only your objectives, but also any cards with gems on them. I have a 10 and a two with five points there. And then I have these guys here with a four and a three. That's seven and five, which is 12. This player over here has got the four and they have the five points here, up oh, and six from that one there. So we'll tally up those scores. Once you've tallied up the scores of the players for the round, you can either be done with the game, and that will be your winner. But what I would suggest is you will take all the cards back up into the deck, put all the objective markers back, and begin another round. You'll shuffle the deck up, then you'll deal each player six cards, as well as four cards face up on the table, and the player who went first last round is going to be the player who goes second this round. And you will start up again until somebody gets to, and I would suggest, 50 points. From there, basically, the player who reaches 50, or if both players reach 50, whoever has the most points is the winner. If there's still somehow a tie, maybe everybody got to 56, you will actually play another round and just determine the next highest scoring total at the end of that round. And that's the game. Most points is the winner. After 50, 100, 150, it's really up to you. Snarkus is a game that feels like rummy, but you're kind of forced to play. And you have to kind of play based on what is on the field, what is in your tableau and your opponent's tableaus. Of course, there are four of every card in the deck, and thusly you kind of have an idea of what you should and shouldn't play at some point in the game. But as the game starts off, you have to kind of yeah, choose your battles wisely. There's luck involved in the game, like for instance a 5-3 and a 4-4 four, four dropped on the field at the beginning, and if I go first, I have an 8. I can take the 5-3, which is 8. I can take the 4-4, four, four, which is 8. I've taken the entire field. I get to claim a Snarkus, which is 10 points, and Snarkuses are huge victory points, which is going to leave your opponent left with having to place a card on the field. There's nothing to take, so they must play something. So playing that three there could be dangerous because on my turn, if I happen to have another three, I can take those and score another Snarkus. Now, as you can see from, see from my previous example, uh, it's really simple to get maybe like 15 to 20 points at most if you don't get these Snarkuses. But if you do get one or two, these can be game breaking. So making sure to choose the smart outcome is gonna be really relevant to you. And another thing with this game too is because it can be kind of a windfall for a player who does well uh, or gets really lucky, you, uh, the back and forth of the turns is really important. So making sure you decide what's important to play here, especially when there's no cards in the field, is super important. And sometimes I would even suggest playing some action cards or the Astras or um, uh, the other unique special card, the Jolts, as opposed to playing a number, so that way they can't instantly get a Snarkus on you. That's probably the only kind of negative thing in the game, in my opinion, is having to play that card down and then you pass and you hope the next player doesn't get it. But there is ways to work around with it. You have to use your special cards, but it's worth doing so so that you don't just instantly give somebody 10 points. Because based on all these cards in my hand, if I just had scored them, they would be worth three, four, five, six. This is for all these cards six points. So just one Snarkus can be game altering for you. So playing that is very important, like choosing when to play. Speaking of special cards in the game, there are a few. You have the Zap cards, you're going to have the Jolt cards, and then you're going to have the Astra cards. Aster, Aster cards. The Aster and Jolts work just the same way as any other card, but they're not numbers. And the only way you can get them is either from a Zap card or from another card of the same type. There's a Jolt on the field, you need to play a Jolt to get it. There's an Aster on the field, you need to play an Aster to get it. What are Zap cards, though? Well, Zap cards are kind of interesting. Zap cards can take every card in the middle of the board here. You can play it, it'll score you a gem, you'll take all the cards here on the field, and you'll place them in your tableau, and that would be your game action, just like playing a number. The only thing is, is instead of getting a Snarkus, 
you will in fact not get one. So it's a way of collecting cards, which can give you the most cards at the end. It could be also a way to get the gems on the field or a way to get that last jolt or aster that you need to form your collection of four, but it's not gonna benefit you in any other way. However, jolts can be very powerful as well. If you have a chunk of cards in hand and you wanna jolt one card, and so that way your opponent will have to play another card, hoping that they play either a nine or an eight that can give you a Snarkus can be a unique strategy as well. This is a light, Tableau, tableau, like rummy style game. It's pretty simple, but there are a unique like number of different strategies that you can go about doing in this game. Starting off, you'll start noticing your games are kind of lower scoring. And as you progress throughout the game, seeing the different little like dirty things that you can do to your opponents, uh, the game scores will start getting higher. And it's possible that you can score 50 points on a single given round. Uh, it's a rummy game. I like rummy games. I like games that are simple, that are easy to teach, that only have a few rules and have a good amount of thought in them without being overly complex. This is a gateway game for those players who like light card games. It is a family game and it definitely would be able to play ages eight and up. Card quality of the cards is high. I love the beautiful designs on them, the fact that it's easy to tell how many gems are on cards, um, the different little characters and the unique cards that kind of come added to the game as little actions is a nice bonus. Uh, these little tokens here illustrating your objectives, wish they were a little thicker, but they are cool, they are holographic, and they do exactly what they need to do quite well. Slightly some damage on them, but not a huge deal. And the box art and style of the box, it's, it's a nice little small card game that I'll put in my small, I have a little shelf for all my little small card games. Easy rules, easy to play, rinse and clean up the round, clean up is, cleaning up is easy and starting again is quite simple as well. This is one of those games where I feel like you're either going to be interested in it or not. If you like games that are kind of like a light rummy, if you like games that are a little bit of a take that kind of a style, then you're going to be into Snarkus. And if you don't mind the small variant of having to like think about playing um, on the loss, kind of like with a windfall effect, then you're going to enjoy this game. Or if you're just like into that type of a game where you like to try and win more and push ahead and your opponent, and you, you, you as the opponent have to like really decide what's important, how you play it, and keeping track of every card that's being played on the field, then this is the game for you. For me, it's, it's probably right down the middle. I played this actually a lot more than I thought I would play it. And I played with my cousin. We've even played a live stream of this game and had a good time with it. And I got my pants whooped. Uh, I started noticing new strategies even at that point after already playing the game to determine I was going to review it. I played it again. Like we played it one, two, three, four times before. And then during the live stream, we played an entire another set of rounds. And uh, I, I got my pants whipped and realized there's some other strategies to come up with. So I'm sure there's some still I'm missing. Anyway, that's the game Snarkus. I recommend taking a look at it if you like these type of games. Like I said, solid seven out of 10. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Snarkus by Hootenanny Games. Now that I've seen this one here, I'll be looking out for more Hootenanny Games to take a look at because this was a nice, clean game. It was, it's right one of those games where it's like, I'm gonna pull this out for four players, just do a simple card game, and then, and then we can go on with our day or play this as a filler. Uh, you can also take a look at our live stream for the game. It's every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST, and this is the previous live stream that we just did, so you can watch me and my cousin Dana play the game. And that's a good way of le learning the game better than even my opinion. You can see it for yourself, see how it plays, and determine if it's something for you. Uh, you can also, if you'd like, hit the link in the description where you can pick up this game for yourself. I believe the link is an Amazon affiliation link. And there is also a website for you, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. We do some giveaways. The last one was the Cards Against Humanity Mind, mind Bug, mind, Head Trip. That's the one. Uh, and if, of course, if you'd like and you've seen more than one of our videos here before, you can subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button for more video options. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to calling Snarkus with you next time.